everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Thursday night ESO stream. Do -do -do -do. I don't know what that was. I, I was trying something. I thought it'd be cute, but you know what? It's just no. Not sure I like it. Anyway. Hi, Gumi. Um, and hello to anybody else that may be hanging out in chat. Um, aw, thank you, Yumi. <laughs> but yes, welcome to ESO Night. Hope you guys have been doing well. Um, I hope those of you, I know Apiary, which is our, um, which is a gaming cabal I'm sort of part of. Um, I know there were raids tonight where... You doing those as well, Yumi? How did they go? If um, you were, I'm not sure who all does those and who doesn't, since I don't really raid much in Secret World anymore. Don't really play Secret World much anymore. I kind of miss it, but at the same time, like the gear grind and everything, the way they set it up in Legends was just not for me. Yumi hasn't done raids in a while. Ah. Understandable. Understandable. Yeah. It the, the thing is, I love Secret World, and there's always going to be a part of me that still really loves it. But at the same time, I'm just not a huge fan of... Just the gear grinding and everything, it's just, yeah, that too. Plus, I mean, you know, they haven't really given it any decent content updates in a while, which is not encouraging, really. I, I mean, I remain hopeful that at some point they will do something with it, but, you know, it it is what it is. <sighs> But tonight it's not Secret Worlds, tonight it is ESO, um, and we are going to be continuing our journey through elsewhere, through Dragonhold. Um, we are currently, if I'm remembering correctly, where we left off, we are trying to find a captain to take um, the vestige and Sai Sahan out to an island to stop a dragon from attacking Senchal, and um, this is either going to go really well or really badly. I don't know. I think tomorrow Yumi, Grace, and Eris are going to take a stab at the Valentine's event. Ooh. You'll have to let me know how that is. I am kind of curious, but... That particular form of PvP never really appealed to me, so I, I have zero incentive, <laughs> really. But I am kind of curious as to how it would potentially play out. Yes, if it's actually entertaining, please let me know. I am curious. Hey, Chibi, how are you? How are you? We have not even gotten started yet. We are just hanging out, and um, Yumi and I have been lamenting the lack of attention paid to Secret World Legends. <laughs> oh no, why roar? Why roar? Why are you roaring? Also, I've realized that apparently the closed captions on here tend to refer to Chibi as H-E-B, which is weird. Like, I, I don't know what, this, what that's about. <laughs> I, I don't know. It does not handle names well, apparently. Chibi is a dinosaur. Rar. <laughs> Rar away. Um, I wish Funcom would just maybe stop milking Conan and give Secret World Legends a little more love. I would agree. 
I would agree. Um, Secret World Legends has always needed more love, I feel like. And Funcom has just never given it to it. Well, okay, no, that's not true. For a while, they were definitely... They were definitely doing stuff with it, but... I don't know, when the new... Once I got all that new stuff for Conan, it's just... No. It has not been what it was. And I am sad about it, to be quite honest. Um... She be joined yet another Pathfinder game. How many games are you even in now? <laughs> that... That's... What? Your second Pathfinder? Third? I mean, if you count Starfinder in there? Possibly? Seven! What the heck, Chibi? That is like a game for every day of the week. What the heck? <laughs> that is too much game for me. I would not be able to do that. <laughs> also, can, I, I'm hesitant to actually take this out because it's going to drip tea everywhere, but can we just talk about the adorableness that is this little cat spoon? It is actually a spoon. And it is very cute. Can, can we just talk about that? That is just, it's adorable. <laughs> She was in two Starfinder, four Pathfinder, and one 5E. No game Monday and Wednesday, and two games Tuesday and Sunday. That is that is too much game for me. That is too much game for me. I am currently happy enough in my two 5E games. <laughs> Plus the one virtual LARP that I've been participating in. Like, that is just... Little too much for me. <laughs> Seven, I would not have time for that. <laughs> I commend you. That is a lot of epic story to tell. I hope they turn out to all be epic anyway. <laughs> but yes, while we are... RPGs are my life. <laughs> I mean, same. Really. Same. I bleed characters. Don't actually bleed characters? That sounds kind of painful. Also, for anybody just tuning in and are wondering where you two can acquire this mug, we have a shop on Redbubble where you can go pick it up. Please go do so. So I do get a little bit of money from the sales of these wonderful mugs. Sadly, not the cat spoon. I wish I could sell the cat spoon on Redbubble, but the cat spoon is just adorable. <laughs> the mug I can do, though. Um, there are links for that in the panels down below, by the way. Um, yeah, in the new game, I'm playing something new to me, a battle cleric who can fly. I did a Pathfinder Cleric once, which that was kind of fun, but I have actually not really played a Cleric since. Actually, no, that's not true. I had a one-shot where I was helping to test a, um, a module that a friend of mine actually wrote. And you can find it on DM's Guild, by the way. Um, it is sort of based off of Sunless Sea. If you guys have ever played that, it's kind of spooky and atmospheric and takes place in the Underdark. And it's there's like a fear mechanic that she wanted to test out and make sure it would work. So I played a trickery cleric in that. Which, that was fun. <laughs> I was playing a tiny little gnome with an urchin background, so she had a tiny little mouse. And it was amazing. <sighs> they are evil, or rather they are neutral and follow a neutral evil god. But they have amnesia and have no idea why they follow this god, except that they have the god symbol as a birthmark on their hand. 
I am very eager to hear the rest of this character's backstory. Um, please share at some point. <laughs> It's all the backstory I get because the DM makes it up for us. Ah! Well, as reveals happen, please do share. Because that just sounds really intriguing. And, um, I would very much like to know more. That is an interesting concept to me, though, that the DM, um, makes up all the characters' backstories. Like, my DM usually has a hand in our backstory, but... Like, that's about as far as it goes. He mainly lets us have free reign. For the most part. Um, my DM is a sweet bean. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Sadly, I do not get to play a game until Saturday. At which point I have two games on Saturday. So that is going to be entertaining. That's a strange Eon's adventure path. None of the others do that. It's just part of this particular one. Oh, that's interesting. The one downside with the spoon, it slides around quite a bit if it's not, like, anchored down. So it slides around and occasionally hits me in the face. So, you know, that's fun. Ah. <sighs> yes. What do you guys say we flip on over and let us go through some ESO? Because speaking of adventure paths, I would very much like to experience an adventure tonight. So, let us see if we can't track down a captain to take um, our vestige and Sai Sahan over to an island where a dragon is probably going to try to murder us. Because that is what this X-Pack is. <laughs> Play game. Be cute. I mean, I shall try. Whether or not the game actually wants to load in is beyond me. Ah, there we go. Also, before I get too far, though, I would just like to remind everybody and call attention to my character's current um, die setup here. Just as a reminder, you too can change the color of this gear using the loyalty points that you guys have required here just by watching the stream. Um, it is the purple gem-shaped heart symbol that is either right below where you go to enter in text, or if you're on mobile, it is right next to that. Where You can tap on that, and you can see how many points you guys have and how much you can spend them on. They're there for a variety of different things, so please check that out. Ah, like Yumi is doing right now. Um, we need pink and white for Valentine's Day. You know what? I would agree. I would agree. Is there a dye station? There is an outfit station. All right, so let us... You have black and, like, a bright red. Um, I definitely have a black. I, I have, like, three shades of black. I think. I definitely have a shade of black. Which, weirdly enough, is called Thalmor Black, which I will. It's like a very dark black. I don't know if it would go with the pink and white, but. <laughs> Yumi says pink and white, so. Uh, I have two shades of black, actually. Three. Three shades of black. Obsidian, Thalmor, and Cold Harbor Ash. Although, I personally feel like the Thalmor black is darker than Cold Harbor Ash, but might just be me. Alright, so we need pink, Yumi says. Oh god, no. No, that is, that is way too... No. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, this I find ridiculous. This color that I currently have highlighted is called Blood Gold, but the 
fab this color swatch makes it look pink. So I am confused. Like in, in what universe does does this read as gold? In what universe does this read as gold? Oh, there's the gold. I see it now. It's like a dirty undertone. That is weird. I don't know that I like that. Maybe not for this outfit, but it is definitely a thing that can be done. Not for this one, but it is a thing. Uh, let's see. Yumi says pink and white. Oh wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to leave some of the gold there. Need something for accent, damn it. Problem is, I don't know that this looks very white, but. <laughs> you know what? Maybe if we make it a proper pink, it'll look white by comparison. At least that's the hope. Yeah. Mostly. Something got effed up, I feel like, though. So, hold on. Let me... Mm, no. That needs to be the gold still. Yeah, not all of it is leather, is the problem. Like, some of it is definitely meant to be leather, but other bits are... Definitely not. <laughs> like, I'm like... This is just, like, personal headcanon situation, but... The hood, I feel like, is definitely not... Um... It's definitely not a leather. Maybe. You know what? This is looking a little awkward. We are, however, going to save this die combo because it, it's not bad. I may revisit it at some point. We're going to apply this. And then we are also going to... What am I doing? That is not the right button. Let's see, what do we have for costumes? Let's see. We are not wearing some of these out and about. Like, this is pretty not what we're going for. Um, hmm. It does, but it... it I don't know that it really suits going out into the world and punching things with swords. <laughs> no. No. Um, hmm. You know, this might be cute in those colors. Let's see. Hold on. Alpha dies. Oh dear lord, we need to adjust how some of them are laying, but some of the colors are laying. But. Look, the princess that picks up a sword and fights the troll is epic. It is true. It is true. Mm. Oh god, I actually hate that in these colors. I legitimately hate this in that color. Okay, we are turning that off. We are going to actually look at the stuff we have here. Um, come here. Yeah, she's not Mage Guild, but... No. No. So the whole reason I go with that other hood is that I feel like the standard hoods tend to get, like, way too close to the face. It, it just, I feel like it just makes the entire look 
look awkward. Okay, this might be cute. Yumi unlocked a new costume right as your sub expired. Oh no! Hmm. This does not look quite right. But you know what? We're gonna run with this. I think this is pretty cute. How is this, Yumi? What do you think? The one thing is that I really wish that, like, dyes were able to just change up. Like, if you... I feel like if you... Um, have a die set for a costume and you change out the costume... The dye colors should persist through them, and they don't. It's very annoying. Actually, you know what? Before we run out... So if I'm gonna do this... I need to make one slight adjustment. We're going back into here. I'm figuring out which of these... Hmm... No. I was hoping the weapons died a bit more vibrantly, but they do not. Yeah, it's fine. We are very pink and cute. And I approve. Alright, so let's go find... Where are we even going? We are looking for Zaji. We get there from here? Yes, we can. You saved the main at Drilladon Pass. This one's friend was among the soldiers there. Yes, I did. And oh my god. This is the cutest freaking Khajiit outfit. Look at this. Stop walking for a second. <laughs> she just walks right through me. That is so rude. That is just an adorable looking Khajiit. I mean, look at this armor. This is gorgeous armor. I want this armor. But I do not know how one acquires it. Also, Yumi, you are terrible. <laughs> hmm. You know what? We are also going to change up my mount. So I feel like the black does not quite work. If we're gonna be pink and cute, let us bring out our bright white Indrik to get us to where we need to go. Just buy another ship? Oscar, you wound Zaji, you truly do. Oh my god. Big Khajiit. I want to pet, but I also feel like that would be ridiculously rude. Move along, Walker. Our captain is in the mood. Look at her! She is so pretty! <laughs> there really need to be more Senshrot mounts in this game. I... D Look at her! She's so pretty! Okay. <laughs> Let's try to talk to Zaji. Uh, actually, first. Seems our smuggler is a bit distraught. Let's hope it's nothing serious. Oh, that's a dragon. 
Can't you see that Zaji is grieving? He has lost everything. His home, his heart, his one and only lady love. Oh, how can he go on? You lost your lady love? Who was she? The perfect pounce! The finest vessel to sail the Popal Bay! Someone stole her as we slumbered. A heartless wretch. A thief without honor. A member of Zaji's very own crew. He is sure of it. Nartis Meris. Ugh, may he suffer a thousand salty cuts. Yes, apparently he is in love with his boat. The sad thing is I've heard weirder in this game. Uh, do you know where your ship might be? No, but Nartis does. And Zaji knows we can find him in Southguard ruins. Pounce needs provisions before it sets sail, and that's where Nartis will get them. But why are you offering to help, Walker? Leah said you could sail us to a nearby island so we could slay a dragon? Elia sent you. Then you must be walkers of honor. And this one must admit, slaying a dragon sounds quite heroic. Very well. It's a deal. If you help Zaji get his ship back, he will take you to this island. Okay, what's our first step? We must head to Southguard Ruins and search for Nartis. It is a coastal town of sorts, just south of Senchal. With some persuasion, that clawless dark elf should let slip the location of the perfect pounce. Then we steal her back. Why do you think Nartis stole your ship? He is the newest member of Zaji's crew. Came aboard only a few weeks ago, and this morning, just as the perfect pounce is stolen away, he disappears. It is more than a coincidence, this one thinks. And you believe he's in the Southguard ruins? Zaji's blood may boil, but his mind remains as sharp as a blade. We came to Senchal for provisions. It is unlikely that Nartis would journey out to sea without stocking up first. That means dealing with the vagabonds in Southguard ruins. Tell me about it. It used to be a fort, but as the name suggests, it's seen better days. Now pirates and brigands call it home. They will not welcome outsiders. What can you tell me about Casca? Casca? Why, she's the Pounce's first mate, of course. Don't take her manner personally, Walker. She's a Khajiit of few words and little patience. And so this one would recommend you stay on her good side, yes? What happens if I get on her bad side? <laughs> she didn't earn the title Casca the Unconquered without biting off a few heads. Do not try your luck, Walker. Cool. Okay. We don't need another complication. Especially when we have no idea when this dragon will strike. Still, we can't set sail without a ship. Let's make our way to Southguard Ruins. Alright. To Southguard Ruins we go. Up oh, there goes the dragon. Ah, there are many dragon around here. Yeah. Whoops. I completely rode by the way out. Oh my god. Why do I fail so much at directions, you guys? Now, normally, I would be all... Oh! That dragon is still up! How is it not dead yet? I am legitimately surprised. I mean, it's not northern elsewhere. Dragons in northern elsewhere go down really quickly. Gonna be nice, try to res. Oh, jeez. Okay, then. Yep, I'm dead. I knew that was gonna happen. It is very hard to try to shoot a thing and use your ability that heals you to hit things when there is a giant freaking snowstorm right in front of you. Will we 
actually be able to do this? I have no idea. There's, I'm pretty sure there's just two of us here that are actively, oh no, wait, I spoke wrong. I spoke completely incorrectly. Rude! Oh god, I just realized this is an unfamiliar dragon. I don't know what unfamiliar dragon's pathing is. Not good at melee. When there's especially when there's a lot going on. There's a whole reason why I go ranged during these sorts of events. Because to be quite honest, melee combat I tend to get a little um, hyper focused on everything. I'm gonna die. It's fine. Cause that was a really big lag spike. I don't know what the heck that was. Like, there's definitely stuff happening. I'm not sure what this is. And to be quite honest, I'm very much looking forward to um the revamp of everything that is happening very soon because that I'm hoping that'll at least help with the, some of the issues but who knows also I know people are talking in chat I'm not ignoring you I'm just trying to focus and not die again um <laughs> Chibi helped beat a boss in Guild Wars 2 and was surprised you didn't die. That That's always a welcome surprise, I will not lie. Yeah, I don't like ice dragons either. Ice dragons are terrible menaces. And I do not approve. But I do think in terms of annoyances that exist with the dragons in this game... Fire dragons are probably my favorite. If I was going to rank them, it would probably be fire first. Like, I'd rather fight a fire dragon first, definitely. Um, ice dragons and followed shortly after by lightning slash thunder dragons. Th lightning slash thunder dragons are my least favorites. That is all right, Yumi. I appreciate the um, spirit of the offer. The reason why I hate the Thunder Dragons entirely is because there are roving, like, AoEs. They're, like, roving giant pools of thunder and lightning damage, and I hate them. Is you have to try to dodge them, and sometimes it doesn't work very well. I'm getting uncomfortably close to Ice Dragon. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. <sighs> the good thing is, I have way too many soul gems, so this is fine. Woohoo! All right, dragon blood, dragon pellets, a ring I could have better, so that doesn't help me, and a sack. Let us see what is in this sack. But first, let us see what that loot's message is, because I definitely slay all the dragons. I shall try. I shall definitely try. Oh, hey, Ruby Ash, I need that. Um, and for anybody who was wondering what the heck that was that just happened, um, that is, we are taking the crunchy way down. That is a service called loots.com where you guys can basically elect to put sponsored video messages 
onto my stream. Uh, you guys can go to lutes.com slash Thionel or check the panels down below for a link. And you too can send in a sponsored ad with your message attached to it. I do alt tab and try to read every message that comes in, but um, I only have the one monitor. So a lot of alt tabbing does need to happen. So if I don't see it immediately, I do apologize. Ooh, merchant, merchant, hi. Because I just realized I have not repaired my gear whatsoever. Okay. To the ruins. Which, this is going to be interesting. The others are here already. We must sneak in, Casca. Sneak. You do remember how to do that, yes? I remember the last time you tried to sneak somewhere. Did you ever remove all those cactus spines from your arse? <gasps> those cactus spines never stung as much as your betrayal, Casca. Oh, yes, my third betrayal of the day. But who's counting? Casca <laughs> is my new favorite. I'm just saying this right now. Casca and Zaji are like my new favorite NPCs. <laughs> I love them so much. <laughs> like, the best part, like, this is one of the things I really love about ESO. Is not only do we get amazing NPCs that we get to interact with, like, all the time. But you have dialogue like that. That just, it feels like a realistic conversation a group of friends would probably have, and I just, I love that. I love that. <laughs> so I'm just, like, making the assumption that Zaji and Casca have known each other for a very long time. And I'm just like, I love it. I love it so much. I still very much want a Centrot mount that looks like Casca, though. I mean, look at her fur pattern. It's so pretty. Okay, sorry. Getting distracted. Our new companions certainly love to quarrel. Zaji wants to infiltrate the encampment and take Nartis by surprise. Casca, on the other hand, suggests we launch a frontal assault and deal with him directly. I'd rather take my own approach. Maybe we should split from Zaji and Casca? Very well. We'll start our search at the north entrance. I'll follow your lead. Meanwhile, Zaji and Casca can make their way to the other side of the encampment. I'll leave their strategy to them. Any idea where we should search? Luckily, Zaji provided a map of the area. I've determined a few locations where I believe Nartis may be, given their relative isolation from the rest of the encampment. At the very least, this path should let us search most of the camp. Let's go to the north entrance, then. Enough. Do you accept the plan? It is an excellent plan. We'll circle around to the back, yes? And knowing your mouth will alert every pirate in Southgard along the way. What? Zaji is the epitome of discretion! <laughs> I'm going to take the lay of the land. I'll meet you at the entrance to the camp. I love them. I love them so much. <laughs> I do not have the words to express how much I love them. I want them to be my friends forever. <laughs> like, is that a thing that can happen? Because I would like it to be. I probably do not get to keep them past this expansion, but... Oh, we have a quest. Well, another one. Damn the thongy bird. This will die in me. Can you do nothing right? How will we escape now? Just have to... Oh, can I... Can I help you, Walker? You seem upset. Is something wrong? Oh, this one was just... Ugh, I will not fib. Daini meant to rob this caravan. Do not judge. I swear on the moons I did not... This was an accident. Even if it was not, those muscarses were slavers, killers, and worse with the terror birds. What happened with the terror birds? Did they wreck the wagons? Yes. 
Daini set them on the caravanners, only to scare them. But the birds gobbled the guards up. Bad luck for them and for Daini. The goods I meant to steal are ruined. Daini can fix this. I just... I really need help. You will help, yes? Alright, I'll, I'll help you get out of this. Thank you, Walker. If we can find something valuable in the wreckage, Daini can use it to pay for her passage out of Southgard. I know how this looks, but I swear my brother Safik and I only want to escape this place and the jeeks who ruined it. You said that caravanners were criminals. What else do you know about them? Bah. What else is there to know? Nothing but clawless brutes, all of them. Sorry, Daini has lived under the heel of these muskurses, and muskurses like them all her life. I did not mean for them to die, but I cannot shed a tear at their passing. She is very cute. Um, did you know any of them personally? No. The cat they serve, though? Daini knows him all too well. But he is not worth talking about. Someone in my position does not have the luxury of vendettas. This one needs wealth to leave Southgard. It is as simple as that. Why do you want to leave Southgard? Is it not obvious? Ever since the flu, Southgard stinks of ash and bloodshed. No artisans ply their trade here. No merchants sell their wares. Only skooma dealers and slavers and cutthroats remain. We cannot live this way anymore. You tried to rob a caravan, though. Doesn't that technically make you a criminal, too? I... We live hand-to-mouth here, Walker. In Southgard, you learn to steal or you starve. It is that simple. Daini does what she has to to keep us afloat, but Safik has a gentle heart. He still has a chance to do something good with his life. So, how will these goods help you and Safik escape? This one secured the passage on a Nord merchant ship bound for Mistro. Plenty of opportunities there for people like my brother and me. I owe the ship's captain, Sormund, just a few drakes more. Soon, we will turn our backs on this place for good. I want to give her hugs. Um, Yumi likes the set from that workshop down there. Started using it for your stam characters. I will have to go check it out. Now, though, we must murder some terror birds. And start val hunting for valuables. Oh god, I hate when the terror birds do that. I was not in that AoE! I was not in that AoE! It's incredibly rude. I was most definitely outside that AoE. Uh, that was just rude. That was completely rude. There aren't any bird mounts in this game. You'd think there would be, but there are definitely not. What is in this cargo crate? Let's see. Bolts of shredded silk. All that remains of these once expensive fabrics are frayed scraps. Nothing useful there. You will find something useful, though. A chest. That I'm kind of nervous about opening because terror birds. Ha! Ah! I got it! Oh god, there are three of them! This is a moment when you want that AoE. You want that AoE ult. Oh my lord, okay. Toro's Cargo Manifest, here we go. Goods bound for Toro's Fortress, make no stops and keep a clear accounting of all damaged or lost cargo. Toro has no patience for incompetence. Inventory, 10 bolts of fine silk, 26 bottles of alto wine, 15 jars of fine ceramics, 8 sacks of ine inequine spices, 30 sacks of Colovian grain, 6 crates, and the rest of the document has been torn. Likely by a curious terror bird. Let's see what we can find. Oh god, there were actually two terror birds! Friggin' hate terror birds! I hate them! 
I hate these things. I hate them so much. Terror birds are definitely my least favorite. Ugh, ruined spices. Who does that help? Ruined spices helps absolutely no one. They look like they'd be delicious, though. I mean, there's probably a decent amount of meat on them. Broken wine bottles. Not useful. This was Turo's caravan? Daini, he'll kill us all for this. Calm down, Antonia. Just come back to the house, yes? Daini will explain everything. I need to. Maybe he'll go easy if I tell him what happened. Get away from me. Dragons. I dare one of those. Ah, you are back. And with all your limps. Good. Good. What did you find in the wreckage? Please tell Daini you found something more than splintered crates and giant murder chickens. She's very cute. Um, this is all I was able to salvage. Shattered bottles and ruined silks would not earn us a berth on a dinghy, let alone a seafaring vessel. And now Antonia goes to sell our pelts to Turo. Kra! Daini will think of something. She has to. Who is this Turo exactly? I found his name on the cargo manifest. A short, snouted arsonist with a heart as black as those scorched trees. He controls all of Southgard. He... It does not matter. Daini has a shelter south of here. My brother is there. Can you check on him? Daini will follow soon. I'll check your brother, but I need some answers. Of course, Walker. Daini owes you a few answers at least. Who is Antonia, exactly? A friend. Well... Daini uses that word loosely. An acquaintance, really. She fixed herself to me like a barnacle some years back, eating much but providing little, you see? When I resolved to leave Southgard, she insisted on coming along. And now? Now she sells us out to save her own hide. Typical. In her heart, Daini always knew Antonia would get cold paws and call off before long. This one just hoped the little skiver would do it quietly. Do you think she'll go through with it and tell Turo? Oh, yes. Antonia lies often, but never about something like this. She is a survivor. Always has been. Like a Raminite Ali Roach. For now, anyway. Mara, help her. What do you mean, for now? Turo does not respond well to bad news. The people who deliver it, more often than not, it is the last message they ever deliver. Oh. He will come for us soon after. We must move quicker. Why are you so reluctant to talk about this guy? He is not worth talking about. Daini hates him, and will continue to hate him until the day she dies. All you need to know is that he is both evil and wealthy. This one will take that wealth away from him. Daini has nothing else to say on this subject. Okay, we've gotten zero descriptors of Toro so far. But my brain is picturing this, like, tiny Alfique. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did not see these things. I, I, I'm seriously just picturing that Toro is like this tiny little Alfique. Because that would be adorable. Okay. Let's see, where am I even going? I need to go this way. Both for the quest, for both quests apparently. Oh jeez. Oh god. Whoops. Did I realize this was going to be hostile when I came over here? No, not at all. God's for Sai, though. Okay, where am I even going?
Nope. Leave me alone. I don't exist. Or as you're concerned, there's no I'm gonna be able to get Please, by here. Mud crabs, lazy hack wings. I need a real challenge. Okay. Fifteen gold says this one can strike a frog's eye at fifty paces. Sneak, sneak, sneak. I don't see Nartis. Let's move on. Okay. <sighs> Where am I even going? I just don't know. Okay. So, slight detour in this direction. Somehow I'm being incredibly stealthy despite being, like, bright pink. <laughs> I can't wait much longer, Safik. If Tiny doesn't come back soon. Ah, don't get your beard in a twist, Stormund. She will be back any minute. Trust Safik. Here, have some soup while you wait. You love soup, right? Everyone loves soup. Ah, oh, greetings, Walker. Apologies, but have we met before? Are you Safiq? Your sister sent me to check on you and your friends. Yes, this one is Safiq. Tiny sent you, eh? If she sent you to check on me, we must be in danger. Let this one guess. She tried to rob Turo and made a mess of it. That... that's exactly what happened. How did you know? Tiny, why can you not just... <sighs> Safik's sister is wise and prudent in all things except this business with Turo. You must understand. He hurt us deeply. She refuses to let it go, even as we try to escape this place. Is she coming soon? She's busy covering her tracks. She should be here any minute. Safik! Galanet! Ah, there you are. And Soramund remains? Good. Not for much longer, Tiny. I leave with the tide, with or without you. Okay, sorry, unrelated, but I don't know how well you guys can see this. There is like some sort of dome or something over there? I have no idea what that is. It's like in the distance, right by the um to the left of the palm tree? Is that one of the moons? I don't think it's a moon. I have no idea what that even is. But I'm also not entirely sure... ...where I am in relation to anything? I... I, I don't know what that is. I really would like to know, but... <sighs> Won't know just yet. You found the place? And Safik as well? Good. Let this one guess. Stormund blusters like a Palmar squall. Pay him no mind. He is like a harbor month, yes? Bark, bark, bark. But no teeth. Now, we have work to do. That is, if you still mean to help? Well, yeah, but Safik seems worried. Safik. Daini loves him dearly. But he lacks a thief's edge. He sees mortal risk in loose cobblestones and all the rusty nails. We needn't worry. This one found a new target. Turo owns a warehouse to the east, packed with trade goods and treasures. So you plan to rob Turo a second time? Because that worked so well the first time. Who else should Daini rob? Turo owns South Guard. Safik told you this was personal, didn't he? Mons. I will say it one last time. Daini does not care about Turo. She wants his treasures, nothing more. Now, are you in? Yep, still in. I'll meet you at the warehouse. Many guards patrol Puro's warehouse, Walker. Make sure you are ready, yes? How do you know about the warehouse? It belonged to Daini's father. Before Turo. This one's father said old moon priests used to conduct rituals in there. Back before all the old temples started falling down. Some folk think turning an old temple into a warehouse is blasphemy. What do you think? 
It never bothered Papa. He said storing goods in a sacred place kept the ghost out. Daini does not know why ghosts would try to get into boxes of sugarcane. Just silly, you know? Papa used to say silly things like that all the time. So what is Turov store in there? More than sugarcane, I can tell you that. This place might have kept the ghosts out, but they will not thwart us, Walker. We will take what's ours. Okay. But, um, what did this... What did this guy do to you? Did he, like, murder your dad or something? Because right now, that's feeling very par for the course, you know? She's definitely young. You can tell by how they um, designed her face. But I don't know how young is the problem. Sign of the Dark Elf here. Let's head north. Head north over that way. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. If you don't want rats in your pockets, don't keep hunks of cheese in there. <laughs> Some of the NPC dialogue, man. <laughs> Tiny is here. Quick, let us discuss strategy. Wonderful! This is Time for a celebration! Jeez! For everyone! Hi, Yumi! <laughs> Starting between the crates, hiding in barrels. Then Papa died. Ironic that we robbed his grave, yes? I'm sorry. What? Uh, so if I keep cheese in my pockets, I'll get new friends. Chibi, no. Do, do not. That is, that is how you get ants, in addition to rats. <laughs> uh, wait, y his grave. Your father died here in the warehouse. Yes, burned alive. Fires raged across South Guard at the time to deal with the flu, yes? Turo used this. He and his dogs pushed their competitors, Khajiit like my father, into this warehouse and set it ablaze. To make it look like an accident. I'm sorry, so that's why you hate Turo. Yes, but this is in the past. Daini must see to the present. Turo marks his personal goods with a crude seal to ward off idiots who might be tempted to scheme off the top. Search the marked crates, and we should find something valuable. I mean, that is the hope. Who knows if we'll actually find anything, but... You know. Oh, we have so many friends coming with us, this is going to be a bit awkward. I don't know that I really need to sneak. It doesn't look like anything is actually still alive in here. This assorted pottery would fetch a decent sum if sold on the black market, but it would prove difficult to transport. Stolen pottery. Too cumbersome. Let us keep looking, yes? Oh, jeez. Stolen books? Various books taken from caravans and seized ships, ranging from religious texts to private journals. None appear valuable. Books? Daini doubts Turo even knows how to read. Hmm. No rare titles. Leave them. Torval Brandy! Potent local spirit to come to fetch a high price on the open market. Torval Spirits? Mara knows Sormun's crew drinks enough already. There has to be something else around here. 
This might be all there is, sweetie. Ah, the door to the cellar. Papa always kept the most valuable goods down there. Let's have a look. Okay. So I may not come with us down there, which would be understandable. More crates. Hurry and check them all. I thought I heard someone approaching. Pouch of jewels. This leather pouch contains a heaping handful of precious and semi-precious stones. Someone is coming. Hide quickly. So, Dainé and her dog-tailed brother tried to steal from me, eh? Truly, I should have burned those two with their father. Easily remedied, though. Thank you, Antonia. Oh, you're welcome, Turo. Anything for you. Of course, you did work with her, so... You see my dilemma. Business is business, Antonia. You understand, I'm sure. What? No, no, no! I could have seen that coming. Blessed Mara, we're out of time. He's going to kill Safik. We have to get back, now! Rip. <laughs> ah, yes. This is going to be bad. Uh, I'm calling it right now. This is going to get very bad. I am really hoping that Safik is not actually going to be dead because he is a tiny boy. But we will see. Where is that even coming from? Rude! How dare! Big. Nope, he's gone. Great. Gone Walker, Daini's brother, Malabu, Galaneth, and Sormund also. Toro took them. Are you sure they might have gone somewhere else to hide, right? No. Toro left a note telling Daini to turn herself in. He holds Safik prisoner in his fortress and will kill him if she refuses. Mara's heart, we were so close. Stupid, reckless. This is all Daini's fault. No, no, it is Toro's fault. You said this wasn't personal. It isn't. It isn't. This one just needs. Toro has all the gold and. And? He murdered my father, burned him like kindling wood, and now he steals my friends. Daini will make him pay. She will rake his eyes out and feed what remains to the dogs. She will... No. No. This has gone on long enough. Safik is all that matters. Okay, so how do we get him and the others back? Daini will turn herself in to keep Turo distracted. While he gloats and blusters, you must find and free the others. Start at his harbor safe house. It lies south of here, along the coast. Meet me in his fortress as soon as you can. Moons guide you. Alright, I will rescue the others and meet you in Toro's fortress. Good luck. Letter from Toro. Dearest Daini, I've made every attempt to turn a blind eye to your mischief here in Southgard. As a final courtesy to your father, I allowed you to remain here, even in your old home without harassment. But your recent raids on my workers and my property cannot go unpunished. I have your friends. Most of them will avoid the noose and live as slaves. Yet another show of kindness on my part. Your brother, however, will swing unless you turn yourself over to me immediately. No delays. No negotiations. I regret that it had to come to this. I await your swift surrender, as does your brother. Sincerely yours, Toro. Oh, boy. Alright. Let's go. Oh, nope, we're not going that way, because that way lies flying things that I do not like. Alright, so... Ugh. 
There's no good way down here. Sorry, Sai. Think you can beat old Sorbon, eh? Heroes? Do your worst. We you need some excitement around here. Okay, seriously, that is definitely a dome over there. What the heck is that? I, I'm here. It's one of these islands, I think. I might need to head out that way and see what happens. See what I can see. Okay, normally I'd leave these NPCs alone, but there's a thieves trove here. I want it. So... Murder. I want this trove. I'm apparently disreputable. It is fine. Oh no. Oh no, whatever am I going to do, you guys? Whatever am I going to do? If only I had a pardon edict on me. Oh wait, I have nine. Oh, he definitely is. Let's be real. Well, Tan Kynes backside. Am I glad to see you? They didn't get you a tiny, did they? Not yet. Can you walk? Uh, it'll take a lot more than this to knock the wind out of Sormon's sails. Uh, I'll be all right. That cub, though, Safik, he's not suited for this kind of treatment. I'm, I'm worried about him. The others as well. There. There. I said it. <laughs> oh, grumpy Nords. I love them. Uh, where are the others? Did you see where your abductors took them? No. But I can guess. Turo may act the part, but he's not a romantic. He's an opportunist. He won't kill those scallywags if he thinks he can profit off them. Check the caves near the Dream Drowner, his slave ship. Any luck? You'll find them there. All right, I'll look for them there. Off with you now. You cleared the way. I'll make it out of here just fine. Okay, but I thought your relationship with Diney was just professional. Why the change of heart? Oh, don't think old sorman has gone soft. I'm in this for the gold, pure and simple. Of course, these cats clearly need help. If I can do good while doing well, so much the better. Now listen, you better not say anything to my crew about this. Understood. I'll get the boat ready to leave. Meet me there when you find them. Oh, God, sigh! Really? Come on, someone sing us a tune. I, I'm literally just trying to do my job here. You cannot attack everything. I can, however, if I sneak up on them. Also, Smudge is right to steal you. She is adorable and deserves to steal all of the affection. I'm very glad that Sai keeps with me for the most part here. He definitely didn't come down here with me, but that's fine. Walker, over here! Malabu is here! Ah, uh, Walker, thank the moons! You will never believe what horrible things these slavers said they will do to poor Malabu. You are a true friend, Walker. A true friend. Now, you will help this one escape, yes? 
Of course, do you know where they took Galaneth? She cursed and spat like a wild beast. This one told her to stop, but she would not listen. They took her to Turo's slave ship, southeast of here, through the cave. The ship only stays in port a short while. You must hurry. But first, let me out. All right, head north along the beach. The way should be clear. A thousand thanks to you, Walker. Malabu only hopes that Daini and Safik still live. Be careful. Okay, you go, and now... Sneak, sneak, sneak. Slightly more important for me to take out the archer, because the skeever does not take too long to murder. Hey, I'll tell you when I've had enough to drink. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. I'm somehow very bright, but I'm also very sneaky. Galaneth is up this way. Oh, hey, so I came with me. Look at that. Over here, quick. Diney helping you escape, too. Nah, other way round, I wager. Thanks. Diney takes good care of us, so you take good care of her, all right? Okay, yeah, uh, that's not at all what your dialogue matches, but, um, Diney sent me to rescue you, not recruit you. You should get to safety. Bah, nobody ever lets me help. Fine, fine. But if anything happens to Diney or Safik, there's no power in Tamriel that'll keep Toro safe from me. Mark me! Okay, just save yourself for now. Head back to the beach, I cleared the way. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Give those bastards the business, all right? Especially Toro. All right, let us go. Where am I even going? She is very feisty, I approve. Oh look, I basically have to go up the same way for part of, for um, MSQ. So, you know what works out. I don't know why I'm mentally calling it MSQ, considering MSQ is a completely different thing for a completely different game. I don't know that I can sneak by here, but I'm gonna try. <gasps> There's a chest down here. Uh, really? Worst time for a lockpick to break. Ah, damn. Slaves, mud crabs, lazy hackwings. I need a real challenge. Ha! Got it. Sneak, sneak, sneak. But also cutting this oak, because I need the wood. Okay. <laughs> Up this way. Turo's is... Oh, it's that. Okay, getting to that from here is going to be... Heard there's a hurricane bearing down on us. Make sure everything's tied down, eh? 
Oh, wait, no, I can definitely do this. Okay. Because there's a bridge that leads over there. I have to sacrifice a lot of things, but you know what? It's fine. get there this way anyway. I'm not 100% sure, but you know what? Game of dice. I'm falling asleep here. We're trying anyhow. Might be back stairwell. <laughs> Alchemist first. Which, by the way, can uh, an alchemist just be a game class in some game that I play? Like, an actual freaking class. Because that would be amazing. Most of the time, it's just a skill line, but... I would very much like it to be a legitimate class. Okay, where are we going? I don't know. I have no idea where I'm going. It's fine. This guy has trained skeevers. Why do you need trained skeevers? Just let them try to block us. Like, seriously, why do you need trained skeevers? No sense. Nope. Let's come up this way. Okay, this looks like the main gate. I am the sneakiest of sneaks. I am the sneakiest. Oh look, there's Turo up there. Uninvited guests. Well, I can always use more slaves. You'll beg for the shackles before I'm through. Yeah, I, I don't think so, sir. Look now, you're scaring the poor slaves. I think you're doing that yourself. Go. Do something, you cowards! Help your master! Well? Help your master, he says, and then he just dies. <sighs> what I... Praise Halkosh! Quickly, cut me down and get this door open. This we can use Toro's boat to escape. Practice. Dear, oh dear. Hmm. With that slave, you came for us. Truly, Walker. Daini did not think she would see another sunrise. Did you slip past Turo, or...? I killed him, actually! Daini would be lying if she said she was not glad to hear it. But then, this one's thirst for vengeance very nearly got us killed. Enough of that. We should go before Turo's thugs find us. Into the boat, yes? 
quickly. Get the gate open while this one frees her brother. Let's get out of here. Well, that was an adventure of sorts. Thank you, Walker. Truly, we would never have made it out of that place alive without you. You're welcome. What happens now? Daini managed to stash a handful of Turo's jewels away before the dogs captured her. This one feared that Sormund would demand more. But something softened him a bit. Daini does not ask questions. He agreed to take us aboard. That is enough, yes? Where will you and Safi go? Wherever Sormund takes us, yes. After years of waking to the same nightmare, Daini could do with a surprise or two. Speaking of nightmares, thank you for reading Daini of hers. Knowing that Toro lies dead, it lightens the soul. Farewell, Walker. Do you see Papert on Sormund's ship too? Ha! No, you are bound for greater things than Dex Wabin and Sailmending. As for Daini, Dex Wabin and Sailmending sound like a dream come true. Thank you again, my friend. What kind of business is Sormund into, anyway? <laughs> you mean to ask if his business stays above board? This is Pelletin Walker. Every hand is dirty. Do not fear. Sormund makes his gold smuggling. No slaving or piracy. Daini had her feel of violence and evil here in Southgard. So you'll still be an outlaw? It is like this one's father always said. You can take the cat out of the alley, but you cannot take the alley out of the cat. <laughs> Skirting the law is all this one knows. But you have Daini's word. She may break the law, but she will never do harm. Well, they're safe now. That is the important bit. <sighs> oh my, indeed. I still really want to know what the heck that island is over there. With, like, the dome over it. Indeed, big turtle thing. There are many of them around here. Hajimotas are very big. I don't like them. They also hurt quite a bit. Um, if they hit you, learned that one the hard way. Do not hit a Hajimota. Like, just, just don't. Okay, let's see if we can't find this guy. Because when we came here... We really were supposed to be finding a guy, and, um... Then we got sidetracked with quest. It was a very good quest, and I do not regret, regret getting sidetracked, but... Salted pork! Always salted pork! Can we get some greens Rats around so here? Bad. Sure, they carry diseases, but... Oop, there goes a dragon. We're not fighting that dragon. We have other, more important things to deal with, but... <laughs> it's always kind of cool to be wandering around and then just seeing one fly overhead. This bridge does not look safe. And I wouldn't, in real life, I would not be sprinting over it like this, but it is what it is. Stop right there. He locked the door. Stand back. Quickly now, after him. Damn sight. They just broke a ton old door. That's one way to catch a thief. Walker, good to see you. Look who Zaji found. Why don't you say hello? Please, Zaji, don't let Casca rip out my throat. I'll stand guard while you interrogate Nartis. <laughs> I'd love some time alone with Nartis, but we wouldn't talk, so you should ask the questions. I love her. All right, all right, I admit it. I stole the perfect pounds and brought it here to Southgard. But I no longer have the ship, I don't. What do you mean you don't have the ship? I sold the ship to Admiral Irathi. 
But they haven't set sail yet. The ship will still berth on the south docks. Irathi hasn't even finished loading up the slaves. You sold the ship to a slaver? I... Did I say slaves? <laughs> Silly me! I meant cargo! They're loading cargo! I would never sell a Khajiiti ship to a slave trader. It is going to be pretty obvious if you're lying. All right, yes, yes, Arathi is a slaver. But I swear, I didn't know that until after I sold her the ship. Please, you have to believe me, I'm innocent here. Yeah, we'll see about that. Zaji wants you to know there are no hard feelings. In our business, it's sink or swim. Yes? <gasps> oh, that's right! You can't swim! <laughs> <laughs> I love them! Can we keep them? <laughs> also, can we just talk about Casca for a second look at her? She looks so put out that she did not get to rip this guy's throat out. <laughs> May the dark elf fill the belly of many hungry fish. <laughs> she is seriously my new favorite. I, I love her. <laughs> she is my new favorite. Okay. That went exactly as planned, which honestly may be a first for Zaji. Do you think Nertis will drown? Zaji is counting on it. There is no place for slavers in elsewhere. But there's plenty of room at the bottom of the sea. Perhaps Kenarthi will even take pity on Nartis and guide him to wherever it is that Dark Elves go. He could be telling the truth, but maybe he didn't know Arath was a slave trader. There's not a sailor in the Topal Bay who hasn't heard of Admiral Irathi and her practices. Many Khajiit have suffered because of her. But now we have a chance to repay this suffering, yes? What do you have in mind? Oh, you want a plan? Uh, now, that plan would be... Ah, Zaji and the bearded one will draw away the slavers. Meanwhile, Kaska will help you secure the perfect pounce. We'll reconvene when the coast is clear. All right, I will go with Kaska to secure your ship. I want to be her friend. <laughs> Against my better judgment, I think we should follow Zaji's plan. Besides, it's best if you help secure the boat. We wouldn't want our new friends sailing off without us. Do you think they'll rescind on their offer to sail us to the island? Let's just say I'm not discounting the possibility. Aelia Renmus seems like a respectable woman, but she may not be the best judge of character. For now, let's hold up our end of the bargain. Alright, I'll head to the ship then. Make sure you keep up, Walker. Um, I think you need to worry about keeping up with me. Just saying, okay. Oh, Ruby Wood. Ruby Ash Wood. Which I need, so. Find the perfect pounce. What the heck is this? I just want to see what this is. I don't know. It may just be... a thing, but... Yeah, I... It's probably just a... Th oh! Hi, Casca! Can I be your friend? <laughs> I really just want her to be my friend. I'm a very simple woman. <laughs> very simple tastes. And I really would like to ask Casca if I could just give her scritches. Keep a sharp eye, mate. Too many newcomers prowling about. Is this way? Oh, this is a Rathic. 
so good to finally meet you. And by that, Casca means that literally. Because that is, that is just how Casca is. This ours now. will never sail out of here. This ours now. Just let them try to block oh, us. It is good to be home. We should sail for Senshao before reinforcements arrive. Excellent point. Hey, Walker! Get us out of here! Sir, yes, sir. You, st <laughs> you stole a ship and sold it. You're not innocent. It is true. Dude was not. And now he's in the ocean. Forever. Then we'll get the pounds back. Hi. Hey. I heard what happened from the crew. I'm glad you were there to help recover the pounds. I don't think Zaji would have handled the loss of his ship very well. Speaking of Zaji, did he agree to sail you to the island? Yeah, we're about to set sail now. I'm glad to hear it. I knew Zaji wouldn't let you down. I'm coming with you. If this dragon is going to attack Senshal, I want to help defeat it. Besides, I'm sure you could use an extra hand. How can you help us? I'm good with a bow. Look, I'm aware of the risks, believe me. But this city is my home. I can't just stay behind and hope you stop this threat. Not when I can help. I won't stand by while my father and friends are in danger. All right, welcome aboard. We depart soon. And now we get to say hi to the entire crew. Guess the captain got the pounce back. He always does. Not the first time he's lost it, you know. Well, what do you do for Captain Zaji? Practically everything. If it weren't for old Dirge, the whole ship would sink under the weight of the grime and barnacles. Not that any of these louts would notice. Enough jawing. I've got to see what condition the pounce has come back in. You're competent, I'll give you that. Enough to slay a dragon? We'll see. How do you feel about our upcoming dragon hunt? The odds don't look good. We don't know the island. We have no idea how strong the dragon is. We'll have to improvise, and that rarely goes well. You don't have to come with us. You could just stay essential. And wait for this dragon to burn the city to the ground? No, it's better to die fighting than to perish hiding behind a wall. Besides, we're profiteers. We know a thing or two about the risk. Seems like you're ready for the worst. Someone on this ship has to be. If everyone plans for sunny weather, how will we survive a storm? Despite the odds, it's not hopeless, though. If we can fight, then there is always a chance we can win. I really like her. This one is cleaning. You may help clean, or you may stop bothering this one. I like her, too! Uh, what do you do for Captain Zaji? Whatever needs doing. Cleaning, mopping, stabbing. Sometimes this one stabs and then cleans up afterward. <laughs> Zaji's body is well known for her cheery disposition. Hooray! See? <laughs> her body is so cheery. <laughs> I love her. Wow, I approve. Jal, you are the one who got us back the perfect pounds, yes? Thank you for that. She may not be much, but the pounds has been this one's home for a long time. Even before Zaji was her captain, in fact. You sailed on the perfect pounds before Zaji was the captain? Yes, back when the ship belonged to a rather nasty fellow by the name of Bazahar the Bull. A heartless taskmaster who didn't care a lick about his crew. The Pounce was a lot less colorful back then, in more ways than one. How do you feel about Zaji being your captain? What's not to like? He respects his crew, makes sure we're well cared for, and he's always excited for the next adventure. It's a bit contagious, actually. Still, I, I don't know if this ship could actually function without Casca. Why is that? I won't deny Zaji is 
cunning than he wants to be, but it's Casca that keeps this ship afloat. She schedules repairs, oversees our provisions, uh, pays the crew. And she keeps us all safe, of course. I haven't seen her lose a fight yet. I approve of the entirety of this crew. They are wonderful people. There is no day like today for adventure. And you have a dragon to slay, yes? Talk to the bearded one first, though. He seems like the strategy type and will probably want to discuss many, many boring things with you. <laughs> I love everybody in this crew. They are amazing. I approve. Um, okay, but before we get going onto this, um, we are just going to take a very brief break because I'm realizing I'm hitting a point where I actually need to stand up and move around for a bit. Um, so everybody should get up and move around for just a little bit. And I will see you guys back here in a few minutes. Okay? Many, many hearts. Brief intermission. we're back <laughs> sorry 
Sorry about that, guys. I accidentally... I went to go pick up my headphones, and pretty much everything fell off of my desk in the process, so... I had to spend a few seconds cleaning that up. But we're good now. So, let us continue with the adventure. We've just rescued a ship. And now we need to go use it to go to an island and murder a dragon. This is going to be a bit tricky, I feel like. I would not be surprised if this takes us longer than we think it's going to. Because dragon. There's also a part of me that's kind of hoping it's not Calgrantid. Like, I don't think they'd put him there, but we will see, really. Now that we've secured a vessel, our next step is to infiltrate the dragon's lair. Saji will stay on his ship in case we need to make a quick retreat. Casca, on the other hand, has asked to join our hunt. And Aelia wants to help us slay the dragon. If she wishes to protect her home, she should have that chance. Once we reach the island, we'll search for the dragon. Luckily, we have the Horn of Jadari to help us fight the beast. Now that'll certainly make the fight easier. Indeed. Our journey to recover the relic may have been a long one, but it's proven to be an invaluable weapon. That being said, we may find more resistance than just a dragon on the island. More resistance? What do you mean? Another ship was seen heading toward the island. I'm not sure if it's crew or friend or foe, but we must be prepared for the worst. We can set sail immediately, or perhaps you would like to take a moment to become familiar with the crew. Already spoke to them. Let's head sail for the island. Very good. Let's go deal with that dragon. I'm apparently the one steering this ship. That seems dangerous, you guys. I don't know that I should be trusted with a ship. But I like that we get to run around with Casca some more. I like her. She is definitely one of the NPCs I really like. And I'm very glad that we get to hang out with more, anyway. Out of curiosity, since we've only met the two of them, we've really interacted with the two of them. Let's discuss our plan of attack. Do you guys have a preference for an NPC? Do you have a favorite? I really like Casca. Alia's cute too, but I, I don't know enough about her right now. Judging by that docked ship, we're not the only ones who have business on Docked ship. Not sure where that is, but that's fine. Judging by that docked ship, we're not the only ones who have business on this island. How do you want to proceed? There's a dragon guard proverb. Prepare your counter before the blow. In other words, if they swing at you, be ready to swing back. I also recommend we split our forces to cover more ground. Where do you want me to go? I spotted a cavern northeast of here. Scout ahead and see where it leads. Meanwhile, Casca, Aelia, and I will search for the main entrance to those ruins. Scout the cavern northeast of here. Got it. Aelia, Casca, you're with me. Stick close and prepare to fight. I'm always ready to fight. Just keep an eye on the little one. I can take care of myself, you know. I wish I could run with them, but apparently that is not happening. I'm mildly salty about it. Alright, up here looks like through the cavern we go. Oh, it's full of cinch lions. Cool. Cool. Th this is just what I wanted. It is full of freaking cinch lions. Th this is fine. It's fine. This is fine. It it's fine. We don't need to kill all of them, but... <sighs> Guys, I really hope it's not called Gronteed up here. I am not at all prepared to fight him on my own. I really hope it's not him. 
Sip scales, this gate won't budge. Does anyone see a lever? You're welcome. See you, warrior. Thanks for the assistance. Okay, I'm mildly glad that I did not look out that window and see a dragon. I was firmly convinced that was what was going to happen, but... Fortunately, no. New Moon Marauder. Okay. Don't know what you are, but you are definitely getting stabbed in the back. Alright, so I'm assuming these guys were the ones in the ship. These new moon people. Whoever they are. Shibi, stop making me sacrifice you. <laughs> for a while. Not anymore, obviously, but for a while, these guys lent their name to a crate that was in the store. Not anymore, obviously. That rotated out, but... At one point, they were the named crate of the hour. God damn it. I was so hopeful that I'd be able to stab this guy in the back. Alas. Also, dear lord, can we just talk about that guy's headpiece? That was so spiky. It was so spiky and wonderful, and I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's a trap. In case that wasn't obvious, that was a trap. Sure, Chibi, tell us a joke. Also, there's a loot's message. What is this? I really like that Khajiit pair. Khajiit race, best race. I agree. I definitely agree. What the... What is this? Rakajin's orders. The order of the new moon must put an end to the dragon Nafaldar. Nafalar. Wow. He is the enemy of our master, the almighty Lord Latvulon. He refuses to bow to the will of the new moon. A group of singing dinosaurs. A Tyrannoporus. That is amazing, Chibi. I feel like I should ground you for the pun, but I, I love that. <laughs> I love it. Uh. <laughs> see. Um, Order of the New Moon must put an end to the dragon Nafalar. He's the enemy of our master, the almighty Lord Latvulon. He refuses to bow to the will of the New Moon. For these reasons and more, he must be exterminated. Use all force necessary to take the sanctum where he hides. Let no one stop you. Do not return until the threat is eliminated. May the new moon soon rise above us all, Rakajin. Oh! I apparently killed them. That was certainly effective. Well done, my friend. Right, I, I didn't mean to do that. I did not realize that would happen, but, but sure. Sure. C congratulate me on a thing I did not mean to do. Good news, though, is that the dragon is definitely not Kalgrontied, although he's still technically out there. Does it come this way? Looks like it. Oh, there are salamanders now! Sure! Why not? Let there be salamanders. We're just gonna 
bypass the salamanders. <gasps> and that one new moon cultist who is clearly facing the wrong way. It's fine. But I mean, if she didn't notice me, I'm not going to notice her. Damn this place. Look above us, the dragon. Prepare yourselves. Oh, shoot. Inside, now, follow the beast. Who are these people, and why are they attacking us? They are enemies to be defeated. Nothing else matters. I like her. She's very practical. <laughs> these banners, the motifs. There's no mistaking it. This is a Dragon Guard sanctuary. How dare a dragon desecrate these hollowed halls? All the more reason for us to slay the dragon. Well said. I was able to track the dragon's movements. It should be just up ahead. Ailey and Casca have agreed to guard this hall while we move forward. Great. I'll follow you. Be prepared, little one. I can smell them coming. How many? Does it matter? They will die all the same. I love them. Come on, Sai. Where are you, vile beast? Show yourself! Prepare to meet your end! Whoa. Whoa, okay. The horn didn't work. How? Uh, of course not. That's my horn, mortals. <laughs> Tell me how you came to possess it. My companion will speak with you, dragon. But make one wrong move, and my blade will cut deep. Okay, I will be honest, out of all the ways this could have gone, this is not what I was expecting. I, I am not complaining, I'm just slightly confused. Hi. I am Nathalar. I do not fear you, Hunter. If you seek a battle, understand that it will be to the death. I would rather talk, though. Where did you get my horn? The, the dragon Voloxin stole it from the dragon guard? Now we have it back. Zukorov. Ah, so it was Voloxin who hid it from me. Hmm. To protect our kind from the horn's power, no doubt. Such an honorable fool. And why do you seek to kill me? Are you one of Latvulan's thralls? We came because we thought you were going to attack Sensual. Who's Latvulan? My oldest foe. A dragon of great power and evil intent. He gathered a cult to do his bidding and subjugated our brothers to his cause. Those who oppose him die. He plans to destroy this land, and me along with it. So, you're not going to attack Sensual? Why would I attack the Kaz city? It means nothing to me. Only Latvulan matters. Hmm. You have dispatched many of my brother's followers, so I shall... Spare your lives. You may even keep my horn. I have no need of it. All right. I understand. I think. Hold! This dragon means us no harm. No harm? Did we come all this way for nothing? That's still to be determined. For now, let's spread out and see what we can find. Also, it looks like I missed a way shrine. <sighs> Go figure. Well, I certainly didn't factor this into my plans. 
The Dragon Guard were very clear about their dealings with dragons. Hunt them, slay them, use their parts. Yet this one shares our goals. What goals do we share? This Latvalon seeks to destroy all of Tamriel. If Nephalar wants to stop that, I'd say we have a common cause. As the Red Guard proverb tells us, if we share an enemy, let our blade strike as one. Apparently, yes. This is going to be a dragon friend, GB. Um, are you suggesting we make an alliance with Nephalar? I may not like it, but Nephalar possesses knowledge about Latvalon that we just don't have. And the might of a dragon at our disposal isn't something to toss away lightly. Yes, I'd rather have Nephalar on our side than against us. Technically, we came here to kill him. Our mission was successful, my friend. It just didn't end as we expected. We secured passage to the island, we found the dragon, and we made sure Sanchal was safe. At least from this potential threat. Not bad for a day's work. And now we're negotiating with the dragon. We also need to learn more about this dragon, Latvulan. If it does indeed wish to destroy all of Tamriel, then an alliance is our best way to end that threat. I'm just glad I have your support in this. Your help has already been invaluable. Hi, Glitch! How are you doing? If we're to fight back against Latvulan, we'll need more than a single dragon. We'll need an order dedicated to eradicating this threat. The time has come to reform the Dragon Guard. We're apparently negotiating with a dragon and reforming the Dragon Guard. Woohoo! <laughs> um, do you have any candidates in mind? I do. The crew of the Perfect Pounce already helped us on one dragon hunt. I'd like you to see if they join us for many more. Speak to Zaji and see if he and his crew want to join our order. All right. Let's hope Zaji takes our offer seriously. He may find it hard to believe that we want his crew to join the Dragon Guard. In fact, I'm having a hard time believing it myself. <laughs> My lucky, we need them. Do you think our companions are Dragon Guard material? Members of the Dragon Guard were the premier soldiers of the Empire. They were master strategists, disciplined and honor-bound. It's no exaggeration to say they were the best of the best. We, on the other hand, have a crew of pirates. Technically, they're smugglers. And we also have a general's daughter. That, that's got to count for something. Yes. How could I forget? I led young Aelia in her first battle. None of them are my first choice. They've all shown themselves to be dedicated to protecting Elsmere and its people. <laughs> they will have to do. Sadly, no Hulk. Sadly, no Hulk. I wish. Uh, <laughs> it goes decently. We, This is our big dragon buddy, by the way. We just met him. I thought we were going to attack him. But um, it turns out the horn that we have is actually his. So, you know, that that's fun. Uh, <laughs> Dragon friend. At least temporarily. I don't know about permanently, but we will see. Where are my boys? Or my crew of friends? We're apparently taking over this sanctuary space. Oh man, want a werewolf bite? It's close enough. Never mind, I'm not able to bite yet. I, I don't know if I want to be a werewolf, to be honest. I don't really know what I'm doing with this character, if I want them to be a vampire or a werewolf or what, but... I've not really decided. Apparently, we get to stay here, though. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's locked right now. <laughs> I will keep that in mind. Thank you, though. We shrine. Why don't we get pan pipes? Not in a mode I think we have. Uh, 
Okay, this actually doesn't sound too bad together. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I, I just wish we had those, the flutes as well. Like the pan pipes. That'd be so cool. All right, let's see. Hey, Zaji. Zaji knew his gut was right. Only a truly great warrior could tame a dragon. Do you suppose the creature will let us ride it? Hmm? No, 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 no. Best not to ask. This one would not want to be rude. <laughs> I like him. I too would like to ride a dragon. That would be amazing. <laughs> um. So, Sai Sahan would like your crew to join us as members of the Dragon Guard. Really? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Who wouldn't want the daring Zoji by their side? The offer is tempting. Whoever defeats these dragons will have their names sung by moon singers for generations. Do you want some time to think about it? Zoji is not one to hesitate, Walker. Not when a stranger asks him to sail to a dragon's island, and certainly not when that same stranger offers glory and fame. The crew of the Perfect Pounce will join your Dragon Guard. Maybe you should ask your crew first. Hmm? Ah, yes. <laughs> Zaji will speak to the crew. However, there are two crew members you may wish to speak with personally. Dirge Traktor, the Imperial with a weasel face, and the beautiful Chizbari. Their particular talents may prove interesting. Perhaps I will. The Dragon Guard King! Who's a good for nothing loud now, mother? <laughs> uh, but you must be busy with the dragon, no? Zaji will speak to the crew on your behalf. You do not have the time to spare. Leave it to Zaji. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. Also, since the reminder came up in chat, um, my tea has sadly gone cold. I'm sad about it. But, um, yes, we do have a lovely red bubble shop where one could acquire our beloved filth art on a great many things, including this wonderful mug, which is surprisingly lightweight, but it, it's a really good mug, you guys. Like, if nothing else, the quality of their products is really don't... We're like really good. I enjoy it. You too would enjoy it. It is all there for you on redbubble.com. Go check it out if you are so inclined. Zaji is an entire mood, it is true. Uh, tell me more about Dirge Truptor and Chizbari. Why might their talents interest me? Dirge Truptor has more book smarts than the rest of my crew combined. Now that's not saying much since most of my crew can't read. The Dragon God <laughs> wrote many things, yes? Perhaps he can help you read them. Well, researching Dragon Guard techniques would definitely be helpful. Anything else? Well, Dirge has an awful lot of contacts. He always helps us figure out who we can trust and how to avoid those who mean us harm. Uh, maybe he can help keep track of our enemies in some fashion. And what about She's Body? Ah, She's Body the Chipper, as she is known. You'll see why as soon as you hear her lovely voice. Aside from Casca, there's no one more dependable aboard the Pounce. Give her a task, and she'll get it done, yes? Do you think your crew is up for the challenge of being part of the Dragon Guard? <laughs> Zaji has not a single doubt, not a one. We may be just smugglers to you and the bearded one, but our hearts sing for adventure. They will all take up the call, this one is sure. And do you think they're qualified to hunt dragons? Life on the seas is not easy, Walker. You must be able to adapt at a moment's notice if you wish to survive its many dangers. Storms, attacking ships, sea serpents. The Pounce's crew will learn to navigate the dangers of dragons just as readily. You seem to have a lot of confidence in your crew. Of course. Zaji is their captain, after all. This one is confident that his crew will become the greatest dragon guard to ever walk the sands of elsewhere. It's just a matter of time. I love him. Like, he and his crew are seriously some of my favorite NPCs that I've met. Like, I approve. I approve so much. Also, we are literally swimming over here to come talk to Casca, who is undeniably my, one of my favorites. I mean, look at her. 
She is fabulous. Our mysterious crew has departed. Those left alive to depart, that is. They were dragon cultists, yes? It would certainly explain their choice of garb. This Latvalan must have an affinity for black. Sai Sahan wants to reform the Dragon Guard. Will you become a member? Very well. I will join your order. That was a very quick decision. Why would I hesitate? These dragons killed many of my people, and I cannot fight them alone. So I will help you hunt down the beasts. A simple decision, yes? Good to have you with us, Casca. The Dragon Guard were a very strict order, yes? I doubt our crew would do well with too many rules. Perhaps some changes will need to be made. Why are you so sure you want to join the Dragon Guard? I have faced many enemies. Nothing was too big or too powerful for me to challenge. I didn't always win, but I could always fight. When the dragons came, this was no longer true. Then why fight them now? Why not run or hide? I would rather die on the sands of Pelotine than hide away on foreign soil. This is a chance to make my stand. I will take it. Besides, if I thought your cause was impossible, I would have said no. I love her. She is a big lady, and I love her. I love the sense rot so much. I can't believe we're in a dragon guard sanctuary. My father would tell me stories about the order when I was little. Protectors of the Emperor, slayers of dragons, daring adventures. It was all quite exciting. How would you like to join the Dragon Guard? You want me to join your order? I mean, that isn't to say I don't want to. Of course I do. I want to protect my home before the dragons destroy it. I just... I didn't expect you to ask me to stay. She is so cute, too. Like, what the heck? <laughs> All of the NPCs we have run into so far in this expansion have been, like, ridiculously cute. Uh... <laughs> If you want to join us here, welcome, but it won't be easy. We only face the darkness of fear so that we may find the light of courage. That's something my mother always told me. An old Red Guard proverb, she said. I'll join your Dragon Guard and protect my home. You have my word. Then it's settled. You're one of the Dragon Guard now. I have to admit, our Dragon Guard does seem a little motley at the moment. Perhaps uniforms would help? <laughs> We haven't spoken much. Tell me about yourself. I spent my childhood in Cyrodiil. My father was a commander under Emperor Leovic, and my mother was a Red Guard ambassador. Her name was Sadala. I had a tough time fitting in with my peers. Why is that? They were always questioning who I was. Was I Imperial? Was I a Red Guard? They wanted to put me in a neat little box, but I didn't quite fit. Anyway, my father joined the Colovian Revolt and was given the rank of general by Emperor Varen. How'd you end up at Sential? Father received orders to come to Sential and help with the restoration. He didn't plan to take me along as I was only 13 at the time. Then my mother died and everything changed. <laughs> Sounds like you're swiftly changing the conversation from uniforms. Like... Uh, no budget for that. So tell me about yourself. Yeah, that that's basically what it seems like right now. <laughs> um, you didn't want to be separated from your father? Exactly. And a new city helped take my mind off of other things. I felt so welcomed in Senchal. The Khajiit never questioned who I was or where I came from. To them, I was simply Aelia. That was all that mattered. And now she goes back to playing her flute. All right, here we go. Hey, Dirge. Yeah. Can you see I'm reading? Mm, trying to read. What letter does that look like to you? Looks like that's Akaviri. Oh. Thought it might have been some sort of code. Well, guess I'm free now. What do you want? Zaji said you could help us rebuild the Dragon Guard. Captain says a lot of things, like more riches than we can count, and easy as a spring breeze. Now here we are, hunting dragons like they're some kind of sky whales. Well, you are anyway. I got books to research. Who'd have thought reading could be so handy? What sort of research are you doing? 
Anything, Dragon Guard. Books on killing dragons without getting eaten, I hope. When I scare up some leads, I could use your help retrieving them. I hear anything about those new moon fanatics while I'm at it. I'll let you know. I'll leave you to it then. Alright, now to go find another crew member to talk to. Should, like, theoretically. I don't even know where I'm going at this point. Oh, she's body is up top. I have not been up here. Have not explored very far anyway. Hey, Jizz Body. What do you want? Zaji said you might be able to help the Dragon Guard. Not surprising. I am the only one who can keep a ledger around here. You hunt dragons. I figure out where the dragons are. And what to do with any parts you bring back, yes? It's the most obvious way to help. Sounds logical. I will leave you to it. I like her. Seriously, like, all of the NPCs we've met in the course of this have just been ridiculously wonderful. And I'm very glad that we get to keep them for a bit longer, <laughs> to be honest. Alright, looks like Sai's back this way. Sai! You can has a dragon guard. Nathalar and I have come to an agreement. We'll work together to defeat Latvalan. But only that. After our battle is won, Nathalar will peacefully depart from these lands. Now, what did Zaji say to my proposal? Zaji agreed to join our dragon guard and will speak to the rest of his crew on our behalf. Excellent. I'll meet with him and his crew to discuss the particulars. For aiding me in the establishment of our new Dragon Guard, accept this reward. Oh, and talk to Nathalar when you have a moment. He requested your help with a small matter. Okay. Hi, big dragon man. <laughs> you are wise to ally yourselves with me. Lot Vulan will not stop until Tamriel is destroyed. He has raised an army and forced my brothers to join his crusade. Those who refuse, die. <laughs> he must be stopped for the good of my kind as well as for yours. Aiding and abetting even, you are not wrong. Um, Sai said you needed help with something. A dragon's words have power few mortals understand. When we swear an oath, we are bound by it. That is our way. The dragon Yagrandu vowed to aid me in a time of need. We must seek him out and remind him of his oath. So you want this Yagrandu to join us? I do, but I do not know where he hides. I leave that task to you. As the Dragon God of old were known to be accomplished trackers, seek the aid of a companion who knows this land well, and let them guide you. Now go, Hunter. Find Yagrandu. Okay, I will do just that. Finding Yagrandu requires a test of skill rather than mere bravery. I am curious to see how you and your companions fare. How do you know this Yagrandu will help us? Yagrandu ran afoul of a powerful dragon hunter in a time before the Dragon God. I found him, injured and cornered, and offered my aid. Uh, for a price. <laughs> Knowing that his life was forfeit, he begrudgingly agreed. So he owes you a debt for saving his life. My kind call it a so smear, a blood allegiance. It is an unbreakable bond, stronger than any vow uttered by a mortal. Yagrandu is bound to pay his debt by a magic, older than any you know. If you find him, he will join our cause. All right. Talk to your companions. 
I have many companions. We're part of the Dragon Guard, Elia. It's not stealing. I think we should ask before putting them on. But it looks so good on you. <laughs> oh my god, so cheap. What was that voice, though? <laughs> like, what was that voice? <laughs> but it looks so good on you. Like, it just went off and bitch. And I, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I love these two. I, I love them so much. Hi, Zaji. Where did you get that? <laughs> what we found, Walker. Zaji has to say, the Dragon Guard certainly has style. Though this one did decide to make a few alterations. Now, <laughs> what's our next move? What does our dragon friend have up his scaly sleeve? Well, there's another dragon who might help us, but we don't know where to find him. A missing dragon, huh? Then you'll want to head to Kenarthi's Breath Temple. The priests there can find all sorts of things, if your cause is just. I'm certain they wouldn't mind helping the noble dragon guard defeat a great evil. Okay, where is Kenarthi's Breath Temple? South of Black Heights, Zaji's childhood village. Just follow the ringing of the bells, yes? You can't miss it. I'll meet you there. Zaji will meet you there? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Uh, this one is your resident expert, after all. He just did not realize that his first Dragon God mission would take him back to Black Heights. He hasn't visited since... Well, he has never visited. <laughs> Tell me more about Black Heights. The only thing remarkable about Black Heights is just how unremarkable it is. Nothing ever happens there. The villagers paint the wall of life. The priests pray to Kanarthi for guidance. It's all very, very dull. The wall of life? A big mural. The villagers each add to it before they die, preserving their stories for generations to come. Zaji remembers staring at it when he was a Jakajit. The stories of this one's ancestors made Zaji think... <gasps> That's it. What do you mean? Merchants, weavers, fishers, and farmers. There were now stories of heroes, no glorious tales of adventure. All Zaji saw in that mural was a life too dull to contemplate. And so... This one ran away and never looked back. I like him even more now. Uh, tell me more about this temple. Kenardi is the goddess of the winds. She guides the Khajiit, ensuring our ships reach safe harbor and our souls find the sands behind the stars. With Kenardi's power, the priests can guide us to what we seek. How will they do that? Mm, something to do with the bells, Zaji thinks. He has never seen the ritual, of course. It is only performed in times of dire need, such as when a group of brave dragon guard must find a dragon, yes? <laughs> hey, Elia. You're traveling with Zaji? Then I'm going to. I wouldn't want him to get into any trouble now that he's an official member of the dragon guard. I want this outfit, too. I know this is like a crafting style, I can eventually make it, but... To Black Heights! And I'm coming with you. What? They're wonderful. Don't trust Zaji to handle this. Not in the slightest. <laughs> They're wonderful, and I love them. Okay, let us go. Oh, hey! Apparently, I can get there with the boat. Cool. Just taking your boat. It's fine. They are indeed wonderful. I, I seriously, I love every single NPC we've met in this so far. I feel like it's very rare that that happens. Like, in some of the DLC content that we've done, there have been NPCs I've really liked. There have been NPCs I could have lived without. Like, this is the first time I honestly feel like I have liked pretty much every single NPC that we directly interact with. I, I'm i here for it, honestly. <laughs> it happens so rarely. <laughs> I enjoy it, though. Like, this is 
I am okay with this. I would just wait impatiently for the zone to load. I am actually looking forward to um, the repatch in a couple of weeks. Where if you guys don't know what is actually going on, they, the devs have basically reworked how, I, I believe it's how the game is stored on your computer. So we essentially have to re-download the entire game. It'll be worth it, but I just, I, I'm looking forward to that if it means shorter loading times. I really am. So I always feel like, especially when I'm streaming, load times tend to be pretty long. But also, Southern Elsewhere does not really like my computer, and I don't know why. <sighs> Anyhow, we'll, we'll wait for loading to happen. What's everybody been up to today? Or tonight, I guess. It's night here in the U.S. That's a valid thing. <sighs> My night has mostly been this, to be quite honest with you guys. Messing with my game. And just, you know, trying to get everything to cooperate the way it should. I don't know if I've been successful, to be quite honest. Especially considering that this thing is still loading. Why is it still loading? <laughs> Sigh. This is slightly concerning. I don't think it's actually taken this long before. Now I'm just worried about getting disconnected entirely. Knowing my luck, that is exactly what will happen. I will just get disconnected. <sighs> I really hope that is not what happened. Yep, it is the most loading. It is the most loading. I do not understand what is even going on. It's... Southern Elsewhere, to be fair, does not like my computer. It, for some reason, has the longest loading time for anything. And I do not understand why my computer does not seem to like it. It has no problem with... Okay, that's a lie. It's had some problems with older zones, but I don't recall loading times taking this long. Like, Southern Elsewhere is honestly the only place where this seems to happen to me, and I feel like Southern Elsewhere just hates me in general. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is that emote is, but that's because I'm looking at it on my phone screen. Oh my god, it is a tiny adorable face palming glitch. <laughs> that her Herosia. Hmm. <laughs> it is adorable. I approve. I approve. Um so actually what I think we might need to do is uh, oh god i may need to close the game and then reload it because this is just ridiculous this is seriously ridiculous here ah sorry my apologies my apologies i i do not know what is even going on this this has never taken this long yeah, okay, so we are 
it sounds like it's frozen or anything. It's obviously still loading. The logo is spinning. This is just weird. All right, so you know what? We are doing something I normally would not advocate for doing. But um, we are force closing the game and then reloading it because I do not even know what the heck is happening. It is normally not this long of a load time. And I'm just wondering if closing it and then reloading it would help at all. Sadly, no, not shots. Um, although even if shots were involved, that is not the sort of thing I would be inclined to do anyway. I'm not much of, an, of a drinker of alcohol. So, <laughs> that is not normally my thing. Okay. Part of why I suggested it. No worries. <laughs> The thing is, I've tried alcohol in the past. It's just, it's never really appealed to me. I'm the one where if alcohol is going to be involved, I'm probably going to be in the corner with either water or, like, a soda. <laughs> Man, I'm serious. I'm really, really looking forward to just the revamp of how this game loads uh what happened is that my game refused it was just like spinning the logo eternally trying to load me into his own and so i thought maybe if i force close the thing and then try loading back into it it'll cooperate um i don't know if that will actually work but you know i figured it was worth a shot um Actually, no, we're not coming back in there yet. Um, Glitch doesn't drink much anymore. In the past, he did more of that. But among other things, the, my meds don't play nice. That is fair. That is fair. A lot of medication does not actually play too nice with alcohol. Also, what even is my hair? It's just like poofing out over here. <laughs> I don't know what the deal with that is. Also, Chibi, it's like 10 o'clock at night. What are you doing drinking coffee? <laughs> what the heck? You and I are on the same coast. What are you doing? Chibi doesn't really drink because it's expensive and prefer to drink with friends. That is fair. Uh, it actually affects the effect of the alcohol, I mean. Seriously rude. I mean, yeah, this is true. Don't you hold me, youngling. I am not that much younger than you. And you know it. <laughs> Alright. We are jumping back over. You're all younglings. I mean, if you want to get technical. Okay, so we're not going to go over that way because that is just... I feel like that way lies madness. So, we are going to, I think, hit up a way... We're probably actually going to take the way shrine back to essential. And hope that works a bit better. Because I don't know if it was actually that or what that caused that. But we are... I, I don't want to take any chances. So back to Central. Pandora says I'm not old. I'm eternal. Oh my god. <laughs> eternal chibi. Also, I would just like to point out how oblivious I freaking am. 
Because the spinning logo, the logo that Elder Scrolls Online has, it's like a three-sectioned circle, and you have like three heads devouring tails and everything. Do you have any idea how long it took me to piece together that the three animal heads are symbols of the three alliances? It took me way too long to figure that out. Like, you definitely have, like, the lion at for the Covenant, and the Dominion's eagle, and the dragon, and I... I am ashamed how long it took me to piece that together. Also, I love the fact that it sounds like there's a horse beneath me, when there very clearly is not. And now I'm running on top of the horse. Yeah, everything is definitely not loaded in yet, as we can see. This is, like, my favorite bug, to be fair, just the running on top of the mount. This is undeniably one of my favorite bugs. It is the most ridiculous bug I've ever seen in my life. Oh, jeez! That was not intentional. I was trying to get over here to this quest, and then I accidentally jumped off the edge. Needs a little help. Oh, Bethesda, indeed. Hey, it's Squirto! You haven't seen this guy in a while. Hey, look who it is. Long time no see, pal. I'd love to catch up and swap war stories, but these damned ropes really ugh, knocked the wind out of the reunion, you know? You want to give me a hand? Why do you not have a shirt? <laughs> or pants? I am very concerned. Uh, what happened here? A dragon punted that wagon like a vosh ball with me inside. There were two others in there with me. I think the kidnappers dragged them out. Tough to remember. I banged my head pretty good. My skull's thick, but it ain't that thick, you know? Okay, wait a second. Kidnappers? Yeah, real charmers. They planned to put us in some kind of exhibition. The kind you don't walk away from, I wager. I'm not gonna miss that cart, but the other prisoners, Tajahir and Mareki, are good folk. I mean to rescue them. Wanna help? Alright, I'll, I'll help you. Please put on pants. Just get these ropes off. Can't feel my hands. Please at least put on pants. That's better. Now, where did those tuskless runts stow my armor? Ah, here it is. Now let's have a look around. Need to find out where those bastards ran off to. Ah, a note. Flames from the dragons attack rendered much of this note illegible. However, some text remains. Slim pickings for sure. The orc might provide a challenge, but... Blank space. Others may provide a decent distract... Burns. Take them to Cello. She's an idiot, but if... Down by the waterfront. From what I hear, Lady G wants to keep Cello in Central. Easier for that dunce to recruit new talent, and easier for Lady G to keep an eye, and that's it. Oh, thank God he has armor on now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Half-melted token. The strange brass token clearly carries some significance. Alas, the dragon's fiery assault partially melted it. No, he has pants. Oh, no, wait. No, he doesn't. He ha is wearing a battle kilt. <laughs> no, wait, does he have pants? I can't tell. No, he has pants. He has pants. <laughs> We're good. He is covered. Even if he did not have pants, he is covered. We're good. <laughs> of all the random things to be 
okay with. Okay. <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry, pal. Still a little woozy. The dragon fire swept the kidnappers' tracks pretty good. Frustrating. How about you? You find anything useful? I found the, a note and some a half-melted token of some kind. Good. Let me take a look. Hmm. So this Lady G's in charge, eh? Yeah, that makes sense. First lesson they teach you in bad guy school. Only use the first letter of your name if you're up to no good. <laughs> so if we find Lady G, we find your friends? Safe bet. Don't have much to go on, though. The note mentions some blockhead named Selaway. Selaway. Show her that token, she'll talk. It's gotta be a ticket or something, right? I say we head to Senshal's waterfront and track her down. Fair enough, let's go. I need to walk off this headache. If you find Selaway before I do, meet me at Senshal's marketplace, all right? Sure thing. The seal somehow did survive the fire. I don't know how. It makes no sense. <laughs> I mean, it's wax. You would think it would be melted entirely. But apparently not. Also, apparently there's a house down here? We are not going to get distracted by the lack of a house. By the lack of the house. By a house! We are going to keep going. Too essential. The metal idol melted, but the wax is fine. Yeah, I don't know how that works either. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. To quote a very good movie. It seriously does not make any sense, but here we are. This is not the way down. Why do I always do that? This is like the third time I've come down this way. And I've just vaulted over the edge with zero cares about anything. Honestly, this is an exclusive gathering for Senshaw's elite. Not a goblin petting zoo. There she is. Scrapes no scares off my back, Selaway. I am not the one with the fussy mistress. Good luck. You will need it, I think. Oh, she's an Altmer. Of course she is. Ugh. Mara's mercy, more distractions. I'm a little busy, so unless you have a message from my mistress or a ferocious beast to sell, you should just be on your way. I actually found this token. Someone said you might pay for it. Oh, hardy ha. A half-melted token. Where did you find this? In a dead mer's pockets, no doubt. Our event only accepts the very finest nobility. Now bugger off before... Actually, I take it back. I can use someone like you. How about it? If I help, you'll get me into the event? Yes, maybe. It really depends on Lady G's mood. I can promise a good word, nothing more. Now the task. I paid a Khajiit named Zernash to deliver a token to Alberic Dufont. Alberic never received it. Find that lazy Khajiit and deliver the token. Alright, an idea where I can find him? Zernash is a shameless drunk. You'll find him near the inn, no doubt. All right, back. Dufont. He owns a residence not far from the inn. If you want a favorable introduction with Lady G, you won't keep Alberic waiting. No, of, of course not. That would be a fool. Another ship went oh, down. Got too close to that island of the southern coast. Mark this one's words. That island just is not right. I love this big floof. Wordum is a big floof. I approve. Yeah. Alright, let's go find Scordo. Scordo, I come with the news. Fluffy. <laughs> 
Indeed, indeed, he is very fluffy. Thank you for the bits, Chibi. Much appreciated. Many, many hearts. <laughs> Crudo, hey! Hey, there you are. Did you find that sellaway lady? I asked a few of the shopkeepers about Lady G. Got a lot of weird looks and not much else. I get the feeling she doesn't spend a lot of time with the common folk. I, I found her. She promised to arrange a meeting with Lady G if I did a job for her. A job, eh? What does she want you to do? Gotta tell you, I'm not real excited about knocking heads together for those tuskless kidnappers. Well, she hired a Khajiit to deliver a token, but she thinks he decided to get drunk instead. <laughs> Hard to blame him. This Selaway stinks. Now, you're not gonna believe this, but I just saw Khajiit stumble by, slurring about a late delivery. Had some bottles tucked under his arm, too. Bet you a slice of my Aunt Murag's pie that he's our guy. You are probably right. Let's see if we can find him. Ah, yeah, here we go. Looks like he dropped a bottle over here. Let's look for more of these bottles, eh? He can't have gotten far. Does it glow? There we go. Bottle. Looks like he was coming this way. I want Aunt Murag's pie. Wait, uh, first what's in it? That I don't know. They're orcs. It could be anything. <laughs> Don't bring a monkey. That wasn't a banana. What? Hi. What? No, no, no. Zornash cannot talk now. Danny things to move. Many things to do. I mean, wait. What was this one supposed to do? You were supposed to make a delivery to Albrecht Dufon. Ah, this one. You are right. The token. Zornash meant to deliver it, but... Sugar brandy. Zurnash got distracted by sweet, sweet brandy. Wait! You could deliver it. Yes, yes. Zurna Zurnash will go to sleep to settle his brandy tummy. You will do this. Yes? Sure, we'll deliver the token. Where does Albrecht live? Orvik. Yes. That house by the stairs. This one almost made it. But then, you know, brandy... You will tell Selaway I am sorry, yes? Here, put on his clothes. Have to look presentable for Albrick. Sugary moons guide your... Uh, your path. Okay. Sure. Did that... That drunk Khajiit just took off his clothes. Yeah. What? his clothes we're supposed to deliver a token not some soused cat's dirty laundry it's a disguise sort of Sobrek is expecting a well-dressed courier to deliver the token this mission is involving a lot of toplessness it is true i don't understand <laughs> He was the other guy wasn't even wearing pants he was basically wearing a dress uh, <laughs> Of course he is. Ugh. Always with the sneaking around. All right, fine. Let's deliver the token. I'll keep Albrecht distracted before I hand it over. You sneak around his house and see what you can learn about this little event they're planning. I thought you weren't good at small talk. I'm even worse at sneaking. Anyway, I've got the upper hand. I bet he's not used to entertaining big, scary orcs. It'll be fine. You just focus on finding more information, all right? I want to know what we're dealing with before you talk to Lady G. So, I guess you'll be needing these clothes. For the love of Moloch. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Give them here. You know, if my friend Darian ever saw this, he would die laughing. Oh, why did you have to mention Darian? Now I'm sad. Well, something a little tighter. Well, let's get this over with. Why did you have to mention Darian? Like, seriously. <sighs> oh, hello there. To what do I owe the pleasure? Yeah, uh, I'm the, uh, 
token guy. Lady G sent me to deliver this. Ah, Lady Gisiliane. I just love how she shortens her name like that. Lends an air of mystery, don't you think? Yeah, she's definitely mysterious, that Lady G. Anyways, uh, sorry for the delay on your trinket there. You, uh, you all sent for her party or whatever? Well, that was a bit of a mistake, but I mean, nothing triggered, so it's fine. Um, read all the bookshelves, by the way. Invitation to the hunt. Esteemed Albrecht Dufont, it is with great pleasure that we extend this invitation to you, Saraval Dufont. As you well know, Lady Yisiliane applies the most rigorous standards in a candidate selection. Your admission should be seen as nothing less than a grand endorsement of your high character and a worthy deportment. Within a fortnight, you will receive a token of admission to be delivered to our hunt masters on the day of the event. Remember that this hunt will take place in a swampy climate, so please dress appropriately. Our seasoned trappers and prey acquisitions assure us that this event's quarry will provide a suitable challenge for hunters of all skill levels. Bestial Oryx and Cunning Khajiit await your well-placed air- They're hunting people. Man, F the Altmar! What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with these people? Oh, I'm so mad. <sighs> oh. Please note that all hunts present some measure of danger, but our skilled hunt masters stand ready to assist you should the situation grow dire. We eagerly await your arrival, Master Hunter. Farewell and good fortune. Sell away. God. I hate everything about this. I hate absolutely everything about this. Got everything? Good. Moloch's jawbone, I have got. Let's get out of here before he notices anything's missing. Follow me to the waterfront. We'll talk more there. Ugh. Man, I swear, there are some... Somewhat decent, Altmer. Somewhat decent. But the majority of them are terrible! The majority of the Ulmer I have met are all awful people! Ah. Hell yes! And I will have no problem doing so! Alright, let's talk. What did you find in Albrecht's house? Is this stinking event what I think it is? Lady G hosts a hunting expedition where wealthy customers can hunt people. Yeah, that sounds about right. Filthy bastards. This Lady G's got a troll-sized arse-whipping coming to her and no mistake! Gotta get into the event first, though. Hm. Alright, I got a plan. I doubt you're gonna like it, though. What's your plan? They're down an orc, right? I say we offer them a replacement. Me! I don't mean to brag, but they'd be idiots to turn down a specimen like this. You demand a ticket to the hunt as payment, then we meet up and find Tajahir and Mareki together. Deal? Alright, if you're sure. Not a word of protest, eh? I see how it is. Ah, I'm just giving you a hard time. Tie me up and let's go. I like nothing about this, Scordo. Another ship went down. Got too close to that island off the southern coast. Mark this one's words. It's true. At least he has clothes. Right. There you are. I certainly hope you delivered that token. My lady has a... Wait. Is that orc yours? 
I was distracted for a second, but a tie me up and let's go is not dialogue I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. So basically, we've realized we've found out that Lady G is basically hosting a hunt where you hunt people. Scordo decided the brilliant plan is since they're down in Orc is to you know offer. I use him as like a bargaining chip to get into the hunt by saying here. I have an orc for you. Um, it is a gift. And hopefully we get into the hunt and go find his friends. Which, um, this is a terrible plan. I hate this plan. Um, I deliver the token. As for the orc, it's a gift for Lady G. A gift? My, oh my, how wonderful. We suffered a mild setback recently and lost an orc of similar proportions. Lady Gisiliane will be overjoyed. I will introduce you to my mistress at once. Fair enough. Lady Gisiliane, fivefold venerations, my lady. Uh, Selloway, obsequious as ever. Tell me, is Kerival Alberic appeased? And who might this be, with an orc no less? A recent acquaintance, my lady. They handled matters with Alberic, under my watchful eye, of course. Hi. Greetings. As Selloe clumsily pointed out, I am Lady Gisiliane. It seems I have you to thank for settling this business with Albrecht Dufont. Tell me, what payment do you require? And what do you have planned for your scowling green friend there? Oh, she has a very punchable face. Uh, I'd like to participate in your hunting expedition. A hunting expedition? You'll have to be more specific. I organize many excursions for Senchal's elite. I know about your hunt in the swamp. I want in, and I'm willing to give you the orc as payment. Ah, that hunting expedition. I must admit some surprise. That particular excursion is by invitation only. Then again, anyone cunning enough to sniff it out would be a welcome addition. Yes, I believe we can find a place for you. As for the orc... He's strong and quick. She'll provide a real challenge. I believe you're right. You know, my people meant to deliver an orc much like this one before being waylaid by a dragon. Hm. A welcome coincidence. Give this token to our huntmaster at the bog east of Purring Rock. He'll sort you out. Farewell. See you there. Okay, you be... I almost think you are competent, Selloway. This orc should provide a worthy challenge for my clients. Oh, um, yes, Lady Gisiliane. Okay, you be good, Squirto. Uh, where are we going? Where are we even going? I, d okay, over that way. Yeah, it's him, but they don't know that. At least I'm hoping they don't know that. I am really hoping they don't know that, otherwise there may be issues later. This idea is terrible. Let's be real, this idea is awful. Also, we are going through the city because the last time I went around the city, bad things happened. Even if they do know, who's to say you didn't find him on the road and tie him up to sell him as a slave? It is true. I mean, a Bosmer, I don't think, would be participating in such a thing, but... You know, what do they care? Really? I don't even... Oh, God. I don't even know what they think about a Bosmer doing that. Because my tiny elf is indeed a Bosmer. I love my murdered ear. So what we're saying here is that he fell off the truck. Basically. Basically, yes. I missed the path I needed to take. Because of course I did. Oh 
god. Nope. 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 I don't know what that was. Nope. I'm just gonna ride this way and, you know... Hope I'm going the right way. Because gods only know I can't read this map to save my damn life. Alright, so we're coming this way. Also, I apparently missed a sky shard over here. So I did get some of the way shrines down here back during the Save Drag Slay Dragon Save Cats event. But not all of them, because obviously I don't know where anything is. So I did not really spend a whole lot of time in this zone either, just because the loading times are hell for me. Hi. Hold oh, there, traveler. A private event takes place here today. I urge you to move on immediately. I'm, I'm taking part in the hunt. Here's my token. My apologies. Welcome to the hunt. Your quarry includes Khajiit, both large and small. If you seek a greater challenge, a bull orc roams the swamp as well. Please join us for refreshments at the conclusion of your excursion. Good hunting. Kerem. Thank you. Mind the terrain and keep an eye out for the orc. Dangerous prey, that one. Right. Very dangerous, yes. We're also gonna go with... Both lost! Both ruined! Lady T shall hear of this! I demand regret! Oh my god. This isn't extremely uncomfortable or anything. It is the most uncomfortable. I don't like it. Squirto. Boy, there you are. This way. Wait, no. Rude. My friend. You came for us. Yeah, Tosh. Just too late. Damn it. Can you walk? Come on, stay with me, Whiskers. Uh, I am spent, my friend. But Mareki, she was alive when... She is in the ruins, not of here. She plans to do something rash. Go, Skordo. Find her. I'll find Mareki. You got my word on that. See if there's anything you can do for him, pal. Then meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. Right. My friend Scordo uses anger to hide sorrow. I... <coughs> I do not think... Okay, try not to move. Your wounds look pretty severe. Do they? <laughs> yes. Daja here already feels Kenarthi's breath on his face. I... <coughs> I do not have much time. Nareki fled to the ruins, but she shares Scordo's temper. You must protect them both from themselves, yes? Keep... <coughs> keep them safe. Is she in greater danger in the ruins? What's in there? She goes there to kill the one who did this. Lady G. <coughs> Go north, along the river. Crumbling walls and the door. Mereki is there. <coughs> Hurry! I did not think I would die this way. Hunted like an animal. Why would they do this to me? <coughs> Why? Sorry, Tasha here. Rest easy. Go, my friend. Tell Mareki. <coughs> Tell her. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Um... Okay, we're just going a little bit longer than we usually would, so we can try to wrap this up. Uh, 
Um, because I feel like we're getting to a point where, um, we're almost done with this, I feel like, so I want to at least wrap this up. Did you honestly think you could kill Lady Gisiliane? Oh my god, Marecki's an old fake. Mons Marcy, am I glad to see you. We kill Lady G together, yes? She's here? Gotta tell you, it's tempting. We've gotta get you out of here. Come on! Your friend, then? She's just through that door. It's locked, you see? I stole the key and hid it. Here, I just need to... Oh, again with the vomit? I've got to get this one to safety. Kill that damned elf and end this. Meet you on the road. Northeast, past the Huntmaster, all right? Right. Come on, cat. Make it hurt, Walker. Very much. Trust me. She did indeed. I mean, Tiny Elfique, where exactly is she gonna put it? But... Lady G. You! Maybe I'll melt your head on my wall! You're welcome to try. No, you don't. Her scene rots your soul! Her scene rots your soul. Well... I'm not one of his, so... Don't think he can touch me, really. Okay, where am I meeting up with Scordo? <laughs> Honk, indeed. Also, we're coming over this way because there is a sight point. I did not get. And there's a quest up there, too. Man, there's so much to do on the way to where we need to get to. There's so much to do. But this last... Turning this in is the last thing we're going to do today. I think. The goose is never expected. It really is not. The goose is never expected. <laughs> That just makes it more fun. Scordo? I'm sorry about Taja here, Mareki. Just wasn't fast enough, you know? Don't blame yourself. You came back for us, yes? That's far more than most would do. You have a good heart, Scordo Deny. All right, all right. Greetings, Valkar. Go Scordo. All sentimental on me. <laughs> Greetings, Valkar. Scordo says you helped him find us. A good thing, too. Scordo is brave and handsome, but prone to rash decisions. Not like Mareki. I want to give her cuddles. Um, are you all right, Mareki? Honestly, Mareki is bedraggled and no mistake. Matted fur, sore paws, dull claws, and not a scrap of cloth to conceal this sensuous physique. That's what a kidnapping turned person hunt will do to you, I guess. Losing Taja here hurts the worst. I'm sorry for your loss. What will you do now? Hmm. For now, Mareki will stay with Scordo. Look at him. That pouty chin and those sad, slumping shoulders. He needs a friend, yes. Plus, he's not so bad on the eyes, eh? Those calves. Rawr. <laughs> uh, I'm out too much, yes. <laughs> Mareki takes your point. <laughs> Good luck! You two make an interesting pair! I don't know what I was expecting. That... that was not it. Um... You know, I never intended to come to elsewhere. But now, looking out over these jungles and plains, I'm thinking it might be worth sticking around. For a little while, anyway. I'm sorry about Tasha here. Yeah, me too. He was just a pup, you know? A, a, a kitten, I guess. You know what I mean. At least we settled things with that skeeving Lady Gisiliane. It's good to know what happened to Tajahir won't happen to anyone else. Mariki seems no worse for the wear. 
Yeah, she's a scrappy little thing, eh? The flirting's a little weird, but she knows this place like the back of her paw. If we knock our heads together, maybe we'll have enough smarts to avoid getting kidnapped again. <laughs> What'll you do now? Same as always, I guess. Keep wandering, keep working. Sword arms healing up, and I wager there's plenty of gold around here for a thick-headed orc. Pleasure working with you, pal. Let's do this again sometime, just without the kidnapping bit. Ha! <laughs> <coughs> parched. <coughs> Mareki is parched. I could really use a drink, Skurdo. Funny, I was just thinking the same thing. No, you weren't. You were thinking of going back into that swamp and killing all those other hunters. Ha! What are you, some kind of witchy mind-reading cat? Oh, Skordo. You hide your thoughts like a teenage doggy hides his smutty picture books. Not well, I mean. You're bad at it. What? Ha! By Moloch, what have I got myself into? Oh my god. <laughs> I love them. I love them. But that is where we're going to need to end things for the night, you guys. Because it is that time. We went a little bit over. But I wanted to I wanted to finish that. I did not want to leave it at a point where, you know, we were probably going to kill Lady Yusiliane and I could not have that hanging over me for a week. <laughs> I could not. I I I I needed to I, I needed to murder her. I don't say that lightly, but I just I needed to, you guys. I just mm. Oh that entire plot thread made me so mad. <sighs> See this this is why I don't like the Altmer. Why are they like this? I don't understand. I just... The thing is, there's only like a handful of decent Altmer. And, like, she was very clearly not one of them. I just... Sorry. Sorry, you guys. I... I just... That... That was not okay. None of that was okay. I I needed to finish that up for my own sanity. <laughs> it's okay, you murdered her. Indeed. Indeed. Was being the operative term. Also true. Uh, <laughs> I just... Mm, that entire plot thread made me so mad. But I'm glad we got it resolved. I'm glad we don't have to deal with her again. So, you know, it's all good. <laughs> so I apologize for the rage, you guys. However, if you enjoyed tonight's stream for the most part, and, you know, you want to stick around, and you, you yeah, you know, you want to stick around, there is that heart-shaped button up that way that you guys can click on. And if you make sure notifications on, you will be notified when we go live next Sunday, or this Sunday, I guess at um 2 p.m where we will be playing some more stardew valley um it is winter time we are mostly fishing and wandering around the mines <laughs> corn indeed indeed um and we're just you know trying to see what's down there trying to see how far we can get in the mines themselves i think we're either on floor 25 or 30 at this point. Like, I haven't thoroughly explored them. But I'm trying to see if we can get down to at least floor 40 before the winter is over. I need a lot more torches, though, for that to happen. So I may need to start um, fishing more and hope for driftwood. Because, um, yeah, I think I use that for... I, I don't even remember what I used in the recycling machine to get torches. I will need to do some research on that. But anyway, that is what is on the docket for Sunday. Um, Chibi never used torches. I guess I'm weird. I just really need it for lighting. Because I don't think I have a recipe to make like a glow ring or anything yet. 
So I will need to look and see. Um, but if I don't have the recipe to make it, I can't. So <laughs> right now, I think the only way I get torches is by throwing something specific into the recycling machine. And I'm not sure what. But again, I will need to do some research. That is definitely what's going to be on the docket for a Sunday, though. Um, if you guys want to continue the conversation afterwards, I am going to be hanging out in the Discord for a bit after the stream. Uh, you can, If you're not part of the Discord already and you'd like to be, there is a link in the panels down below. But also, have a link in the Twitch chat. Um, please feel free to come and join us. We are very friendly, I promise, and very few of us actually bite. Uh, <laughs> um, I look forward to hanging out with you guys there in the very near future. For now, though, I am going to wind things down for the evening because I need to... I, I very much need to, like, de-stress after that. That was troublesome. I did not like that last quest at all, especially once it turned into what it did. Uh, <laughs> so winding down is very much necessary. <laughs> Who's been telling on me? I mean, it, it's not just you, in all fairness. In all fairness, um, Antu does bite as well, on occasion. Uh, <laughs> but yes, I need to just calm down a bit but i will be in chat in discord afterwards so feel free to come and hang out for a bit <sighs> until i see you guys on sunday though you all have a good rest of your week and have a good weekend i'll see you all again on sunday many hearts to you all <laughs> bye guys